So we have the cylindrical tank that is six feet in diameter, but it's only half full of milk. The density of milk is 64.6 .6 pounds per cubic foot. And we want to find the hydrostatic force of one end. So I'm going to draw my circle to represent one end of the tank. And then that is six feet diameter. But in this case now we have just halfway full of milk. I know milk isn't blue, but <laughs> the white pen isn't going to show up on the screen. So our milk is blue today. Um, and so we have, uh, it's halfway full. So now I'm going to look at this and say, well, okay, let's see um, where I want to take my slice. So I'm going to draw a random slice in the bottom of the bottom portion of the tank here. And that random slice is going to have a thickness of delta x. Now in terms of the depth, I'm going to just start at the height of the milk, which is right here in the middle. And I'm going to go down a certain depth. And in this depth, I'm just going to go x sub i star. That's where I'm going to start. And now I need to figure out um, the pressure. So Recall the pressure is rho times g times d, but for our um, U.S. measurements, we have uh, delta times d, and delta is the density of the milk. And so that's where we'll put our 64.6 pounds per cubic foot. So the pressure is equal to 64.6 pounds per cu cubic foot times the depth, which is x sub i star, feet, and so we get the pounds per square foot for the pressure. But the area of that ice slice, we need to figure that out. I know it's going to be delta x times some width, but what is that width? So I'm going to use the fact that with a six foot diameter, I have a three foot radius. So I'm gonna take my radius and draw it out three feet. And then I have just the depth down to the uh, uh, ith slice. So that depth is our x sub i star. And then this last uh, leg of the triangle I'll just call a. So I'm going to use Pythagorean's theorem and I get a squared plus x sub i squ star squared is equal to 3 squared. So just doing some computations, moving some stuff around is just, or um, basically just moving some stuff around, taking the square root, I get a equals the square root of nine minus x sub i star squared. Uh, but I need two a because I have half of this width and I need the second half, which would be two a, and that would be two times the square root of nine minus x sub i star squared. So the area, or the, yeah, the area of my rectangular slice would be delta x feet times 2 times the square root of 9 minus x sub i star squared feet. And so I have the square footage of that rectangle. So if I look at my force at the ith slice, that would be the pressure times the area. So it's 64.6 x sub i star uh, pounds per square foot, I simplified it a bit, times delta x times 2 square root of 9 minus x sub i star squared um, square feet. And then notice the square feet cancel out. And you're left with just pounds, which is what we want for force when we're talking about our U.S. units. So looking at that, and then if I do the Riemann sum, I get, because I want to add up all all of those slices from the halfway. So I go from i equals 1 to n of 64.6 x sub i star times delta x times 2 times the square root of 9 minus x sub i star squared. And then if I take the limit of that as n goes to infinity, we get this integral. Now what are the limits of integration going to be? So let's go back up to our picture. And we get, we started at the middle here, and that I called my x0 there. And then we went down um, to the bottom, but that's just a radius of 3. So the vertical distance is just 3 down to the bottom.
So we have 0 to 3, 64.6x times 2 times the square root of 9 minus x squared dx. And if you were to work this out, you would get 1,162.8 pounds. Now what's interesting about this is we had previously found out that a full tank, the hydrostatic force was um, 5,479.6 pounds approximately. Half the tank, the hydrostatic force on the side is 1,062.8 pounds, which if you were to just look at that ratio, which I'm going to do 11 or 1,162.8, divided by 5,479.6, this is only about 21%. This number here, the 1,162, is only 21% of the hydrostatic force. So half of the tank being full is not half of the hydrostatic force. So that's kind of interesting.